There are many ways to initiate an order. You can start a blank one from your home screen. by clicking this new order button. You can add items directly from your shopping cart select the vendor products directly from the vendor products section even order directly from your inventory section including any lists you set up. Since we are already on the store items screen, let's see how we would order from there. All you have to do is click the add button on the very right, the same one you saw in many other screens next to items. Since we have multiple associated vendor products for these items, you will be asked to select which vendor product you want to order. Let's order the 24 can pack from Drinks R Us. Let's say we want five of these. Let's also add two of the larger packs from Food Depot. You will see now that the cart has two items. Let's go to the cart. The shopping cart is a powerful interface that lets you adjust the quantities, substitute items, add new items, and even organize it by categories. Before we move on, let's say this is an order I make often. Of course, this one isn't very long, but you can imagine an order with dozens of items spanning a half dozen vendors. I can save such an order as an order guide, which is like an order template that I can reuse over and over again. Let's call this one drinks order. We'll go over how to use that later. Let's proceed with the order by clicking review and submit at the bottom. This next screen will split this order by vendor. You can see there are two here. I'll let you send out these orders individually or all together. Let's submit them all together by clicking Submit All Orders to Vendors at the bottom. Once you click Submit, the orders will go out to the two respective vendors via email. At this point, you should check your email to see the message you received from Stockit as the merchant as well as the vendor, because remember that we put our own email as the vendor email. You can see your most recent orders here on the home screen including the two that we just placed. The email that the vendor receives also includes a confirmation link, which will, which will change the status of the order from emailed to confirmed. The final step we should review is how to receive this order. Once the vendor actually delivers your items, you can mark the order delivered. Here you can adjust the delivered quantities in case there are any discrepancies. Once you click Mark, the inventory quantities will get automatically adjusted for the deliveries. Let's see this at the Store Items screen. You can see now that your Coke can count is at 120 after the last delivery.